On this cardboard box, as you probably can see, I got a rod from Pure Lure. I will have to disclose that. Whoa! What is this? Did I become a full time Pure Lure chill? Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. Actually, no. I will take this off because it's a lot of heat in here because of the fill lights. Actually, I did not become a full-time Pure Lure Chill, even though I love my Pure Lure Silver Feather. What happened is that I reached Pure Lure, if I can get a discount because I review a lot of stuff, and things head up. And since I want to continue to pump out content for you guys and review so you know how things are on my hands and I can give you some feedback. I asked them if they can make me a discount on the Creek Dance and they send me the rod at cost. So I pay the cost of manufacturing plus the shipping and they were kind enough to send me some nice merch. If you see on the back, other than my bald spot, you can see some models from Pure Lure, which actually is pretty nice. I am one of the guys that really gets mad when I buy some things and I don't get even a sticker with them. But continuing on with the review. Other than this nice padded sleeve, if we take out the two sections of the Creek Dance, you see another freebie. So on the label, you will get a free hook keeper so you can put this on your blank wherever you want and just put your hook there when you're going from a place to another i had my sights on this rod because from time to time some models will appear on super deals at 60 euros which is mm, sweet for me the normal price on this rod will range from 100 to 120 but sometimes some models will appear on super deals but passing on the price, this is a rod with a Torai construction. Actually, it's a family of rods because you can get four sizes, both spinning and casting and two cast weight types. So ultralight and light. Uh, I will just run you through the sizes that you can get. So 1.45 meters, 1.54 meters, 1.68 meters, which is the size that I have here. 1.8 meters, so 4 foot 9, 5 foot 1, 5 foot 6 and 6 foot, both spinning and version as I told you. You will have versions that are 2 sections, versions that are 3 sections and versions that are 4 sections, so that one should be nice for travel. You got ultra light and light. All the rods are from Torai Constructions, all of the rods feature this lovely real seat and this very very cool looking creek uh, grip sorry creek is the name so the model that i have i will show you it's the ce c562 ultralight the finishing on this rod it's very very cool looking the camera will for sure not focus enough but basically you can see the spirals going through the blank which is lovely other thing I like to see, and that's one of the things I like on Mifine, and it usually is uh, synonymous with good manufacturing, it's having both sections of the rod labeled. I really, really like it. And it, it, it knows that they, they care and they just don't just throw things together. The other thing I like on this rod, other than the excellent blank that it has, it's the number of guides and the quality and size of the guides. So you see the guides are very very small, they are proper sized for the rod, and if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 guides on a 1.68 meter or 5 foot 6 rod, it's actually pretty cool. So, and also the craftsmanship and the finishing on this rod, it's on pair with the best that I have. And this uh, real seat adjustment is just very, very cool looking. I already told you that the guides are from Fuji, uh, Alconite insertions, 
pretty, pretty premium stuff for this price point. Why I got this rod? I wanted a, even though this is a moderate fast, they also have a fast depending on the light and ultralight. I wanted a shorter rod, but that could deal with bigger fish. Every time you see me catching a bigger fish, you'll see the rod do a 90 degree. This is shorter, capable of lower weights on the casting side, but still strong enough to managing um, bigger fights. You see me struggling sometimes trying to maneuver the fish uh, out of the bank. That's why I got this. But the rest of the specs on this rod. So the tip, 1.3 millimeters. The cast weight, it's one to seven grams. Even though I think it, you will have some wiggle room. The line, it's from two to four pounds and the overall weight of this rod, it's 82 grams. I am really eager to test it. Of course, I will reunite the family. I will throw the pure lure silver feather in here. And I cannot promise you guys, I think I will go tomorrow. I'm First one of the day. I'm very, very eager to test it. Right now it's, I think, midnight. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, midnight. It's midnight, I will wake up on the morning, put this all together and just go fishing. That's how eager I am to test it. But until then, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.